According to legend, Atlantis was the island home of an advanced civilization that fell victim to a catastrophe in the Atlantic Ocean. That's how the story goes, but Sahira has encountered a new Atlantis, and we're about to share her experience. According to the ancient Greek philosopher Plato, Atlantis was an island in the Atlantic Ocean. But if he were around today, he'd be surprised to discover that rather than being a product of his imagination, it's actually standing in the Persian Gulf. Today we're in a place where fantasy and reality intersect. I'm Zahira and I've made Dubai in the United Arab Emirates my home. It's a city founded on commerce and a place where capital has been used to give ideas wings and make dreams come true. Today we're in a place where legend has been brought to life. And if at any stage you think you're dreaming, don't pinch yourself because it's real. With its unmistakably Arabian styling, it looks like the stuff of legend. But it's all absolutely real. Located on the Palm Jumeirah man-made island, the resort first opened its doors to the public in 2008. And while its towers are over 90 meters tall, its most remarkable features lie below the waterline. We live on the blue planet, with oceans covering 70% of the surface. The world under the waves has always fascinated me, which is why I got my scuba certification. But it's also great to see the sea life without getting my hair wet, which is why I was determined not to miss the opportunity to visit the Lost Chambers Aquarium. It offers exhibits you don't often encounter, even when diving. Housing over 65,000 marine residents, the aquarium is the largest in the Middle East and among the largest in the world. It offers 21 separate exhibits ranging from tiny shrimps and jellyfish to sharks, rays and dolphins. Interactivity is a major part of the attraction with an app for visitors to download while the more adventurous can take snorkeling or diving tours. The Lost Chambers Aquarium for me is like an underwater dive. You get the same calmness and serenity and you get to share in the beauty of such varied marine life. For guests enthralled by the idea of lolling in the lap of luxury beneath the waves, the Poseidon and Neptune submarine suites offer top-end accommodation with windows looking into the aquarium. Sea air is said to whet the appetite and with 23 restaurants to choose from, Guests have no excuse for going hungry. Aquariums have become an everyday part of restaurant decor, but the Oceano takes the concept to an entirely new level, or should we say depth. Fresh fish and seafood is always on the menu, although it must be added that the aquarium's inhabitants are off limits. No matter what your culinary preferences, Atlantis caters for guests with a taste for adventure. Drawing inspiration from the myth, Atlantis is all about water and sea. I've got a long list of things I want to experience at the resort, from riding the crazy slides to meeting some of the marine life. Let's go. The water park covers 17 hectares, with features ranging from thrilling rides to dolphin encounters. I've been crazy about dolphins and growing up in Durban I used to watch them jumping in and out of the waves. Here you can do a variety of activities with them, whether it's playing with them at the surface or getting deep down and immersing yourself in their world. It's a great way to interact with these incredible creatures. You don't have to be a strong swimmer to enjoy these dolphin encounters, as the stars of the show will play with you in the shallows. What is it about being scared that can be so much fun? Well, I don't have the answer, nor can I tell you why I'm so drawn to try out the Aquaventure Water Park. With ride names like Poseidon's Revenge, Aquaconda and Leap of Faith, I think it's going to be very terrifying, which means it should be heaps of fun. Wish me luck. Zahira had been told that her first slide went right through the Predator tank, so she wasn't quite sure what to expect. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to enjoying the Shaka Tank slides. When you go to the inside in the ride, you can see like a shaft, the steam rail. Is it scary? It's not scary. It's a very nice ride. Great, let's go. A 
It's a surreal sensation to slide underwater. Fortunately, there was a plexiglass tunnel between her and Jaws. That was great fun. It starts off a bit dark, you're not really sure what to expect, and you open up into a wonderful marine world that you glide through on your tube. Definitely one of my favorites. Her next thrill began with a near vertical drop of nine stories. I'm about to take a leap of faith, and from where I'm standing, it definitely looks just like that. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. This looks terrifying. It's awesome. I'm going to show you how you're supposed to go on. You're going to cross your arms and cross your legs. All right, let's do it. This looks so high. <sighs> One, two, Go! The worst part of the ride is at the very top when it feels like you're leaning over into nothingness and I'm gonna fall straight down. The rest is a breeze. Zahira was ready for a change of pace and perspective. Marine animals are some of my favorite things and I'm about to jump in the water to feed some rays. I can't wait. Hi. Uh, hi, good morning. Good morning. I'm Rene. Uh, this is the shrimp that we're going to feed them. So this is the way you hold the shrimp. And as the animal come, you just feed the animal on the bottom. Are you ready to do the ray I feeding? I can't wait. Okay, let's do it. The way it's a little bit cold, but it's all right. Okay, you get used to it. Okay, this is the last thing. This is the eagle ray, okay? It's a very gentle animal. Okay. Yeah, right. Come closer, come here. How cool! He's quite an aggressive one. In the wild, they do have sting. So in the they wild, oh, hello! And you get stung when you are going to grab the animal. That was an incredible experience. The base of their mouths feels like a piece of Velcro. And I feel like I've become one spending a bit of time with them. I think I have a few new friends. It's easy to become a daydreamer when visiting Atlantis. But on dreams the seeds of ideas that become plans that may be realized one day. If you're looking for relaxation, entertainment and an escape from the world, you'll find it here. And you may just come away with fresh inspiration.